Hey guys, Skinny Pigs one here. I'm going to do a video today on the new hay racks I made. As you know, wire and grid hay racks can kind of be dangerous. So I made some safe ones out of grids. They can be dangerous because pigs can hop up in hay racks, get stuck, a foot can slip through a grid or a bar, break a leg, break a foot, many things like that. I did have hay racks that were grid bent in half. They were low to the ground. They didn't have sides, so if the pig jumped up, they could jump out. But that still doesn't mean that a foot couldn't have slipped through a hole. So anyway, I changed my hay racks and I will show you. I took the bent grid idea, but placed them vertical. So here is Grover's. It's right straight on the bottom there. And I put zip ties, like one at the top on either side. And then one down closer to the bottom so he can't pull it because you wouldn't want them to be able to pull it out a bit and get their head stuck behind the bottom and I just put a piece of coroplast behind it so nothing falls out the back no hay falls out the back and then since it's a zip tie I can still lift it up a bit when I need to so that I can slip a liner underneath and I think they are great because now no pig is ever going to be able to jump in the hay rack, get their foot or their leg caught, anything like that. And now Ernie, since he has um, plexiglass on either side, I didn't really have much room to put his hay racks on a grid because I didn't want to put it on the front because he only has two panels here so I didn't want to take up the front area of his cage so I put two bent grids together just zip tied the top and the bottom on both sides and then I set it there in the center and then I was like okay that's probably not very safe because if he tries to climb and eat hay at the top it could fall over so I put this grid just connected it into the connectors and then zip tied the hay rack to it and all I have to do is pop the grid out of the connectors and lift it and the hay rack out to clean his cage so he really likes it. And then the other bonus of them is you can stuff so much hay in there that you don't have to worry about them running out. Because like that is a ton of hay. And you don't pack it in too tightly so that they can't pull it out through the bars. But you could still pack quite a bit in there. And then now Barnaby. I gave him one over here. And again it's just connected to the grids at the top and the bottom and he has one over here that he can eat and I really like this one because not only can Kelvin and Hobbs eat on the other side but Barnaby can eat here and it kind of feels like they're all eating together because like Kelvin will be eating here Hobbs will be eating here and Barnaby's eating here so he probably feels really close to those guys and again I just zip tied it to the top and the bottom and since it's zip ties, it can slide a little bit up and down, so I can pull it up just a touch to get a liner underneath. And I put one over there as well so that Calvin and Hobbs have two choices for hay racks, just in case they don't feel like eating beside each other. And again, look how much hay you can put in there. So you do not have to worry about them running out of hay overnight or during the day while you're away or anything. And the other great thing about them is they've got so many different little hole openings there that they can choose what level is the most comfortable for them to eat. They can choose to eat just right wherever their head is at. So they eat a lot just like right up in here. Or they could stretch way up. Doesn't matter. Because with hay racks you put them up on you know the side of the cage but you don't want them too low or too high and the pigs have to eat at that level, whatever level you put it at, where this one they have the choice of all those different squares to eat from. So I really like that. And the other thing I kind of like is they still do pull a bit of hay out but they can't pull gobs and gobs out the side like they were for my other hay racks, the ones that went horizontal. They were pulling stuff out the sides and tossing it everywhere. There's still a bit on the ground, but that's nothing compared to what they used to do. So I think they are great. 
all you have to do is bend the grid in half and then you just once you get it bent in half it's pretty easy to shape it so like some of them I did triangles that one's just kind of like you know a little L shape just depends where in your cage you're putting it what kind of shape you need and then of course I said for Ernie since he didn't really have anywhere to attach it to except the front which I don't want to take up the front of the cage and then there's Grover's which is a triangle as well so I really recommend for anybody who has piggies separated by grids to change the hay racks like this so that the pigs can all feel close to each other because I know I feel sad sometimes that Barnaby's not right with these guys since they didn't get along well they got along but Hobbs was bad but now I feel great because watching them all eat right at the same one I bet just makes it feel better for Barnaby so if you have pigs separated by grids I think you should try it it's really good Everybody just eating their morning stuff, just came in, tidied up, pellets, veggies, and a bit of hay refilled. Alright, see you guys later.